want. Justice. What do we want. Justice. What do we demand. Justice. Several hundred people packed Foley Square to show their outrage. We are outraged that this happened, Lord God, in our city, in our country, Lord God, and we're raising our voice, Lord God, like never before. New York City is one of over a dozen cities participating in the National Day of Outrage, demanding justice for Tatiana Jefferson and to bring attention to the number of police involved shootings nationwide. There have been five here in our city alone in the past two weeks. And they were shot and killed in cold blood yes, in their homes. If we don't stand up for this, yes, right. then what in the hell will we ever stand That's up for? Right. The rallies were led by activist Tamika D. Mallory. Jefferson was killed two weeks ago in Fort Worth, Texas. The 28 year old was in her home with her eight year old nephew when police arrived, responding to a call from a neighbor for a wellness check. Her nephew was uninjured. The officer who fired through the window striking her has been charged with murder. Outrage is telling us now you can't even be a black woman playing video games in your house yeah. with your nephew. Jefferson's sister was at the rally. She was at home making memories with my nephew, things that she would love to do, and got killed in the process for no apparent reason. It's, it's, it's so unimaginable of how this could happen to you. Also present, the sister of Botham Jean, the unarmed man fatally shot by his neighbor, a former Dallas police officer who has since been convicted of his murder. This is difficult. I will say I miss my brother every day. Mm. Um, even when the murder conviction was read, the first thought I had was, I want him back. Now, activists at the rally also encouraging citizens to participate in Black Solidarity Day next Monday. Observed every year the day before Election Day, it calls on African Americans to not go to work and to avoid making purchases, driving home the point that the black community has a vital impact on the nation's workforce and the economy. In the newsroom, Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.